What's up guys? Going into the game on Behemoth here. Um, I'm doing it on the dam. I don't really like playing on the dam and I don't really like playing Behemoth, so they kind of just mash together. When I get a bad map, I usually pick Behemoth. I like to practice Behemoth, but I don't necessarily think that I'm the best Behemoth player, so I'm kind of trying to learn him a little bit better on some of the rougher maps. It leads to a lot more losses, but I don't know. It's just the way I'm doing things. So uh, I go two into Fissure, one into Rockwall. I've been thinking about changing that up, though. I think if I get Aviary sometime today, I might try something new. And just kind of forego Rockwall. I'm thinking about doing something like that. Because it seems to bug out more than it works for me. I don't know. I think it's because I try to like put it on cliffs when people are standing there to knock them into me. And it never seems to work. It always breaks breaks the wall or the wall just doesn't spawn at all or something like that. So I want to try different things with, with Behemoth. See, I tend to play Behemoth on like Dam, um, Barracks, Aviary, like I said, I think Aviary is that he's actually viable on at least the way that I play him. Like I think he's fine. Um, Distillery, he's okay on, but I like Distillery enough where I rather play other monsters. All right, so I'm rushing towards the Mega, the uh, not Mega Mouth. Well, I will check that Mega Mouth probably for a buff, but I'm looking for uh, Mammoth Birds. To get some quick meat in my system. Um, did I take? I think I took. Uh, Armor regen. I know I was trying. I was thinking about taking a few different things. I was thinking about movement speed, armor regen, and uh, damage resistor. The three things that I want to try out after the patch here. I think this one actually might be. I don't remember what I picked. I think it was uh, movement speed, maybe. Well, it feels like I'm a, I'm fast, so I don't know. I'm gonna try out those three at some point today on different monsters and stuff. See how they are. I don't think armor regen is going to be that good, but I would like to try it just to see. Oh, Behemoth takes so much damage still. It might just feel that way to me, though. Alright, he's close. I'm going to try to get out of this before I get domed. I'd like to get Evolve ready. Okay, I did get domed. That's fine. I have this. I'm going to try to keep them away from this, uh, this cliff if I can. Yeah, see, I hate Rockwall. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why that broke. Alright, well they're up here at this point. I'll probably have to get off of this this uh, like little plateau here in a second. Let's try to make them waste their jetpack moving around me. Yay, it worked. Fissure bugs out sometimes too, but it does enough damage and it is reliable enough that I like it. Lava Bomb seems to work right, but I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed by Lava Bomb sometimes. Not always, it's a good ability. I'm actually going to see if I can get this down penalty on this medic. He's really low. And hopefully the, my friend here will help me. I'm not... Um... I'm not full evolved yet, but I still have, okay, he's down. I still have some armor left, so I didn't take any real damage for that, and I got a down penalty. That's really good to have a behemoth get a down penalty at stage one. It shouldn't really happen, especially if they take um, rock wall. I don't think it's really that great of a damaging ability. Uh, I might be wrong on a lot of the stuff I say about behemoth, though, because um, He's my least practiced monster, and I lose with him more than everybody else. I still have a positive win rate, but... I don't know. I don't know if it's my build or the way that I play him, but it just doesn't quite feel as clean as my other monsters. That's why I want to try a build where I don't even go Rockwall, so I don't even have to deal with the bugs that Rockwall brings into the game. And just focus on like tongue grabbing to keep people close to me rather than using rock wall. I'm not sure if that'll work though. So I would like to evolve like the uh, Gobi just saw me through the wall like he does. Um, so 
I'm probably going to have to take a second stage one dome, which is not what I wanted to do. Another one of Behemoth's problems that feels a little off is I think his mobility is the slowest out of like all the monsters. I really should be focusing down the shield turret because I know it's it got nerfed. I'm not used to going after it though. Before the uh, before the patch, I was just like focusing down a person and getting through the shield or knocking the person out of the way of the shield uh, generator, just because it was so hard to kill. But I'm guessing it's pretty easy now. Forty percent is is a substantial hit point there. I'm gonna try to get the second down penalty. I might end up taking some health damage on this one, though. Alright, I got the second down penalty on Medic. That's going to be really good for me later on. They keep doing little nerfs to Slim, and I, I don't know. I mean, he's good at stage 1, but I mean, he just died. So, I, I think he can't really keep up that well. Especially if the person like plays Wraith, and you're not like pinpoint accuracy. Alright, I'm going to evolve here. I'm going to take... I'm going to max out my Fissure. I'm going to go ahead and take some Lava Bomb, I think. I don't really want to invest too many points into Rock Wolf, because a lot of the time, you know, if it bugs out, I don't, I don't want to have that invested. So, I'd rather focus on the abilities I know like can work for me. Uh, stupid Man the Third. I'd be interested, for people watching this video, if you could comment on your experience with Rockwall. Like, is there, is there like little tricks to making it work more often? I mean, I know if you just throw it on flat ground, most of the time it worked, although the first time I did it on this game, it didn't work. It might have been somebody that was standing in the way and I was in a spore cloud and didn't see them or something, but I gotta try to get out of this before I get domed. This could be bad. Well, I think I made it out. I don't know how. See, like, it just has these weird little holes when I throw it. It's very weird. Almost always. Like, more often than it works, I have those little holes. I'm just interested if anybody else has the same experiences when they're playing Behemoth. Like, I would feel bad for people that didn't pre-order and bought Behemoth for like real money that's like it's fifteen dollars or something crazy for a monster and if if I bought something that was like this buggy I don't know I would be pretty upset I think most people got it through pre-order but Rock Bowl's been a problem day one on Behemoth at least for me and I've seen some people that have screamed well they missed their dome there so I will fight here a little bit. Since I'm almost full armor and there's no... No, um, risk to me. That time it sort of worked. I think maybe the left hand side had a, had a hole, but it, it was enough where it actually did what I needed it to do. I don't know, I mean, in open ground where there's nobody standing around it, I guess it works okay. When you try to place it on any sort of cliff or like an opening or something, where it would be really good. There, it works again there. At least it did what I wanted it to do. There's certain scenarios where like that one point in the rock wall really helped me there. My question is going to be, like, will Tongue Grab do the same thing for me, is what I'm going to try to test. I do like Lava Bomb, it has some good uses like that. It's pretty good. And it does synergize well with, uh, with Tongue Grab. Yeah, probably the only thing I don't like about it is that you can't aim it. 
I don't know who's left though. It's just uh, Sunny, I think. I don't know where she went though. She went this way somewhere. Uh, she probably backtracked on me. It's probably, I don't know, reviving? Yeah, that's what I figured. I think I have this game won regardless. I've got a lot of down penalties, so. I, I do really like Fissure, and I think Lava Bomb's pretty decent. It's a little slow, but it, it works. It does its job. Is this going to be the last guy? I think there's one left. I think uh, she got Trapper up, or Trapper was still alive or something. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Alright, well I'm going to finish these guys off. I love the range on Fissure, and the fact that it goes up and down cliffs. Like, that usability is really nice. And I think you can chuck out, like, lava bombs farther than you can uh, use rock throws. If you, like, aim them up in the sky, I think they go even farther. So you could do some, like, artillery type stuff with lava bomb, which is pretty cool. So I think I might consider... in, uh... in my future games doing something with last little rock wall. Maybe take only one point and take two points in a tongue grab, or take uh, no points in a rock wall. I don't know, I want to try things like that. See how it works for me. In open spaces, rock wall seems to do okay. Now the problem on Dam is like, I think I've won this game because I have so many uh, strikes. But Dam tends to depopulate with food fairly quickly at this point in the game. Like the, there's some weird bug with the food respawn on this map I've noticed. A lot of the outer edges don't respawn food. So you can get to stage 3 at like 5 minutes but by you know, 11 or 12 minutes, you're going to be depleted of food regardless. But I should have enough to be able to at least win the game. There's still quite a bit that I can see. I'm only two and a half bars. I should be able to just eat at some point commit. I think, uh, I think I see Trapper up on top of the beam there. I think that's Trapper. I can, can't quite smell him. See how Behemoth handles these beams. I don't actually know if Fissure will land up there, but I know I can Tongue Grab him. Well, I, Tongue Grab has a ridiculously short range. That's not what I wanted that, that to do. Well, okay. It doesn't look like Fissure actually has that happen, but Tongue Grab works really well getting people off those beams, I think. I'm not sure if Rockwell would knock someone off if you aimed it correctly. That's what I was trying to do, but I aimed it down past him. Alright, so one person's dead. The score clouds are pretty good. Alright, I think that's medic. That's the synergy I like. Like, if, if the lava bomb was just a little bit quicker, you could tongue grab people and, like, force them to get hit by your lava bomb with the tongue grab. As it stands now, um, if they land and have some jetpack, they can generally get away. You can do it with Fissure though, because the wind-up's a little bit shorter. I think maybe something I could try is like putting down the Lava Bomb in front of me uh, before I cast my Tongue Grab, and then Tongue Grab someone into the Lava, and then Fissure. That might work, although the initial explosion does most of the damage that um, you get from Lava Bomb. Right, this is not going well, I need to just go up here and like get Sunny down from here. Any sort of ledges really affects Tongue Grab quite a bit. But like, that's okay, as long as I know how my ability is affected by certain things. I think I'm just going to go armor back up. There's no reason to bleed health when I'm not getting anything done. Like, I'm okay with, uh, with Tongue Grab not always hitting if there's a ledge. Because I know that's the case. So I know when I can actually hit Tongue Grab and when I can't.
basically just have to force someone to like jet back into the air and then you can easily hit tongue grabs pretty pretty effectively. You just use fissure and they have to like jet back up in the air to get away from it, and then you tongue grab them towards you, lava bomb, and then follow up with another fissure. Seems like it might work. Need some testing though. I might like that playstyle a little bit more. Alright. One more creature would do it. Yeah, you can see, like, a lot of other maps would be repopulated with at least some, like, striders or other things. So there's armor regen. I think the perk for armor regen is 100%, but the buff in game is only 30 now, which is kind of weird. I don't, I mean, I guess they wouldn't stack, so it's gonna only, that buff wouldn't t do anything for me. I still don't remember what perk I took. I was looking at, like, a couple of them. I'm thinking about a couple of them. I don't remember which one I actually selected on this one. I'll have to rewatch the video just to see. Because, I mean, it's whatever I got, it seemed to work okay. But I don't know if these guys are just bad. So, yeah, like, you launch that up in the air. Like, you can see there's not even much drop on it. Like, that went all the way. If that was rock, it would have dropped real quick. So if you get good with that, I feel like it would be pretty pretty good. Yeah, that time it worked. As long as the, uh, the tongue grab takes a little bit longer, like they're farther away. Um, or if you have to like fling someone up to you, you can hit them with that. Yeah, that works really good when that actually, uh, when they can't jetpack away from it, it does quite a bit of damage. You can definitely see that working decently. Same thing right there with Fissure, both work. Nice. This should be game right here. I don't think this person get it, can get away from me. Yep, there's the sneak attack. All right, well that's it. Oh, she got away. Wait, is there somebody still alive? I think Trapper's alive. That time the uh, the rock wall worked on top of the ledge. It's really weird. Yeah, Trapper's alive over here. Sunny's still alive as well, but I'm gonna go. She's cloaked, so I'm just gonna go deal with Trapper right now. Um, how much time? A minute. I should still be able to end this. Yeah, pretty sure that doesn't actually go up. I could just climb this. There we go. I was trying to combo it into a sneak attack. Oh well, he should die to, yeah, to the flame. Alright, she's still up the top. She could have ran and actually probably prolonged the game a bit. Since I'm timing out, it might have been a good option. But there it is. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Definitely let me know um, your experiences with with Rockwell. But yeah, thanks, thanks for watching.